This is a video review for Wolverine 1000 Mile Boots. And uh, if you've come here, you either own a pair or you're looking to wear a pair, which means you're looking to wear a piece of art as a boot. So congratulations. Uh, I'm making this video. Let me go ahead and present them to you. This video is going to be a little bit long uh, because I want to give you the review uh, from my perspective and also how to take care of them. Um, so basically, I have two pairs of them. Here is the black pair. And here is the brown pair. And these are the Wolverine 1000 mile boots. What I will do is remove these and just leave you with this. Um, these boots, uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because a lot of... Uh, before I got the boots, I did a lot of research and I couldn't find any information on them anywhere. Uh, there's a guy who does a review of them uh, for the black ones. Um, it's not a very good review. Uh, then there's another guy who just recently did a review and he clearly has a bias towards the Alden boots. So that's not really great. Uh, and then as far as taking care of them, Wolverine has a uh, taking care video where they tell you what to do but they don't tell you anything that they use. And there's some really important steps that you need to follow um, when taking care of these boots, particularly the brown ones. Um, so, again, these are the brown. Uh, I've had them... Oh, dog hair. I've had them for several months now, so they've gotten some decent wear to them. You can tell by the heel there. Uh, and you can kind of see these uh, are the black... And they haven't been worn uh, nearly as much, probably about maybe five times in total. Um, so they're not quite as broken in yet, but they are getting there. And so you can see a little bit of the difference between um, one that's been used for a while and one that's, that's kind of new. Um, so basically what happened, these were a couple months ago that I got them, and you'll notice... Um, how the stitching is just laid across on the sole of the boot. Um, which, when you walk, means you walk on the stitching, essentially. So I've been trying to put some like uh, mink oil and stuff like that, which is kind of a heavier substance, on the stitching, and it does actually seem to be protecting the stitching a lot from fraying out when I walk. Also, when you walk, it's not going to, um, when, when these start to fray out, your, your sole of your shoe isn't going to fall off. But if you look at these, which just got purchased uh, about a month ago, not even, um, it's going to be hard to tell. But I guess from that angle, you can see they actually cut a groove into the sole of the boot and then laid the stitching down into that groove. So when you walk... You're not actually walking on the stitching, you're walking on the sole. So, in theory, it'll preserve that stitching for a much longer time, which is something that you find in, like, the Alden boots and stuff like that. Um, these are a full upper and full leather sole, uh, which means that you do have to take care of them, you do have to keep them conditioned, and, um, you know, one of the guys, the, the first guy who reviewed the black ones was talking about how he bought these for the winter and as his walking around all day in the slush and muck and 10 feet of snow uh, frankly I'll just say it why would you do that um, I have a pair of old Doc Martens that I've had for probably six seven years those are what I'm gonna go slushing in the mucky muck about um, if I get caught out in the snow with these or the rain or anything, I'm not worried about it, but I'm certainly not going to take $325 boots out and stick them in the snow all day. Um, that just doesn't make sense. I said it. Your face! Um, so you can tell, I mean, these are gorgeous boots. I won't get into uh, how they're made and all that stuff because, again... Wolverine has a, a series of videos that will show you how they're made in the factory and how you go through all that, so that's that's really on that. I absolutely love them, 
after having these for several months and really getting them broken in and really comfortable, um, I had to go out and get a black pair of them. Uh, I usually wear like a 13 in boots, but these are actually in a 12 and so are these. Uh, because once you start to wear them and you have the leather really start to break in and you can kind of see how this is, is starting to fold down, they will loosen up a lot and they will mold to your foot. So I feel like if you got a 13, that would give you that little bit of extra space. As it starts to break in and it starts to mold to your foot, it might actually expand too much. And this little fold over isn't a big deal because you can see when you wrap your boot, you actually have these eyelets that will go through here so when you go to tie your boot it'll be nice and nice and firm um, which is partially the reason that they're there but I just wanted to give some good contrasting looks at both of these um, I'm a huge fan of them and I don't know I I'm tied on which ones I like the most and there's your heels again these can also be resold if you need them to be. Um, now, as far as taking care of them, what, what is the most important part of these boots, especially since you're spending $325 on them, um, the best thing you can do initially when you get your boots is get a set of shoe trees. Um, these are not expensive. These cost me $9 at Target for a pair of them. And all you do is insert them in your boot after you wear them and that's how you store them. What that will do is this you can see expands out but it will press on the back of the heel keeping that form and it'll actually go down into the toe box here helping you keep that form. They also make these in plastic but to get them in plastic kind of ruins the whole concept behind them because when you have the leather in the shoe after you're wearing it and everything you get a lot of moisture in the leather from your foot sweat. Oh. Um, so what you do is when you put your shoe tree in, it actually goes into your boot and it goes into the heel, or uh, uh, the toe box, and pulls that moisture. The wood pulls out the moisture from the leather and absorbs it into the wood. So you preserve the leather for a much longer uh, period of time. So uh, $9 or 10 after tax investment uh, for these is well worth it to keep them looking good and to allow them to keep their shape. Uh, the other thing that's important is how you care for them. Basically, uh, I, keep, I keep all my shoe supplies in this saddleback leather. If you don't know about them, check them out. Um, you will need a microfiber cloth, leather conditioner and cleaner. Here's a multiple pieces and you will need a brush. So after each time you wear your boots, once you get home and you, and you get to take them off, you pretty much just want to go over the boot in general. Uh, and again, you can watch Wolverine's cleaning video and, and they'll go over this. Uh, but the difference is they don't tell you anything that they use. So you basically just want to wash any dirt, any dust off that you might have gotten. You can also switch to this brush. Uh, again, this brush I got for four dollars at Walmart. Uh, so again, well worth the investment to take care of your boot. And that will help you get the dust off and get any kind of uckies that might be on there. Uh, and that's what you want to do each time that you wear these. I've also realized that I'm saying uh a lot, so we'll cut that out. Uh, <laughs> I was just playing. So that's what you do just as a general kind of a maintenance. Now, every time that you wear them, you don't need to condition them. You don't need to protect them. Um, but, you, but eventually, you will need to do that. Every, I like to do it every month. Um, I'm kind of obsessive about it, so I probably do it more than that. But you want to get a good leather conditioner. Uh, that I use this for the brown because it will not darken leather. And you look at this and you don't want to darken that leather. That's a gorgeous brown color and darkening the leather is something that will ruin the shoe, in my opinion. Uh, that's something that they don't tell you in the Wolverine video. So this is Brick 4 Conditions, Cleans, Polishes, and Protects. 
I love it. Use it on these and the shine of them is holding up very nice. And I like it a lot. How much it works to actually waterproof the boot, I'm not exactly sure because it is kind of a, a real liquid milky substance. So I don't feel like it really offers a whole lot of waterproofing. So if it's raining out or I think I might get caught in the rain, uh, I probably wouldn't necessarily use these as my go-to. However, on the heel uh, or the sole, I will use mink oil. Mink oil is a much thicker, almost kind of a waxier type of substance. I don't know if you can tell. And it actually states on here, waterproofs, preserves, and conditions. However, mink oil will absolutely guarantee darken the leather. If it's on the sole, though, who really cares? So you don't notice it very much, and that's why I don't mind using it on the sole. And it does seem to offer some good water uh, protection and some waterproofing agencies. Agencies? Agents? Mr. Anderson. So... That's what I use for the heel is the mink oil. For the top, I use Brick 4. You can get this at Amazon. It's like 4 bucks. So again, you don't have to break the bank on this. The mink oil is $5. When it comes to the black boot, I do the entire boot in the mink oil because I don't care if it darkens the leather. It can't darken it any more than it already is because it's black. So this is a little bit easier because you just go over the whole boot with uh, the mink oil soles and everything else and I feel like it does offer in a lot of ways a more uh, durable protection in terms of waterproofing against uh, the elements and stuff like that so basically like I said you can go uh, to Wolverine's other videos and they will show you how to care for a used pair and a new pair uh, but I wanted to just kind of go over and, and get a good video visual of these boots so people can see them because there seems to be a growing amount of interest in them. Um, you see those wrinkles there, they're really not as pronounced. I have a lamp right there to kind of help with the video a little bit uh, so it, it makes them look a lot more pronounced than they actually are. But these are the Wolverine 1000 mile boot, all different kinds of models, shapes, uh, well, really not, yeah, you know, the shapes, they're pretty much all the same. Uh, so, that not so much different on the shapes. But you can get different styles, different colors, and everything like that. These are the two that really struck me the most. Um, again, they're going to set you back probably about $325, $350, somewhere along those lines. But look at them! You know what I mean? Look at them! That's a good-looking boot, Johnny! So I would highly recommend these if you're looking at getting a conversation piece as footwear. Uh, people will notice them, people will take note of them, and they will talk to you about them because they will be impressed as the business by these boots. If you have any questions, how to care for them, where I got any of this stuff at, uh, where I found this information at, what's worked for me, anything please let me know because like I said information really is scarce on them and three hundred twenty five dollars is a big leap to take on something you're not sure about so I will say that I've worn them in rainy conditions and it, these pair in the snow I didn't notice any leaking some people say they're leaking they, they can leak around the uh, whatever you call that thing there I don't notice that at all so hopefully this will help you out and educate you to make a good decision. I highly recommend them. Um, these are the best boots I've ever owned and in fact this is pretty much the only footwear that I put on now and uh, I've pretty much given up on anything else because they're they're fantastic. That's, that's all I can say about them. Just let's have a moment of silence. Can we? Can we just... <laughs> all right that's it it's gone on long enough i'm sorry i wasted 14 minutes and 45 seconds of your life i just want to make you educated so you know what you're doing thanks for watching please ask any questions that you have okay bye